This video gives you a behind the scenes look at how we build our world class hydroponic fodder systems. Over the past decade, we have had the privilege of feeding freshly sprouted barley to all types of animals from high end thoroughbreds to sheep, cattle, and more. The quality systems we build provide the platform for the exceptional product that we are able to grow. We started out on a bare concrete floor. The first job was to mark out some drains and cut them out using a concrete cutter. This enables us to take excess water away from the growing area. Then it was time to seal the floor using a special non-slip antibacterial paint. Okay, we just finished the second coat and it looks like a pretty good job. We ran the drain out to a big holding tank where the water was distributed over the paddocks. Absolutely nothing is wasted. Next it was time to build the walls of our cool room which are made from 100mm thick polyurethane panel providing great insulation. To start we laid the outside track and put the first of the panels in place. The panels are pulled together using a special locking system here and here. This ensures the room is waterproof and airtight. The team was working hard and making great progress and it wasn't long before the roof was in place. Meanwhile the guys at the metal shop were busy with the racking and trays. Both are made of high grade stainless steel built to food standards. Back at the job site our guy Fisher was busy removing the protective plastic coating from the panels. Things were coming together fast so we got the doors hung and the airtight seals in place. It was now almost time to bring the racking on site. The racking arrived and it was even better quality than we expected. The guys wasted no time getting it assembled. We built it from stainless steel knowing we would be feeding expensive, well-bred thoroughbreds. This significantly eliminates the possibility of mould and bacteria. It was now time to fit the trays and it was all coming together. The air management system was next as we needed to keep the temperature inside constant. We chose Mitsubishi Air because of their quality and reliability. The electrics were installed and we fitted and programmed our PLC. We fired up the air system and it was almost time for testing. Before testing we needed to get our plumbing installed. We deployed dual 200 litre tanks and pumped the water using high quality Italian made pumps. It was testing time so we flicked the switch on our special grow lights and they looked amazing. We weren't so lucky with the first water test though, we needed to adjust our pressures. We eventually got it right and started soaking our first batch of seed. 25th of November and this is day one at Pimpama. And we're about to put the seed on the trays for the very first time here. Over the next five days our seed sprouted and began to grow amazing fodder. Alright guys, it's the 30th of November, this is the very first harvest out of the system and the combined weight on the table there is 30 kilos. So that is smack bang where we need to be. Look at the root mat on that, does it get any better than that? I don't think so. Over the following days and months, the system grew amazing, record breaking harvests. It built a world-class system with a total of 276 trays using a five-day growing cycle for a total of 1,490 kilos per day, expandable to over 2,000 kilos. We achieved these results by getting a 1 to 5 ratio of grain to product harvested.